Antenna Pattern Editor is a versatile tool with which you can view, create, edit, and convert antenna pattern files. In this video, I'll demonstrate some of the main Antenna Pattern Editor features. For more details, please refer to the user manual on our website, wireless-planning.com. Should you be interested, you can download the software and evaluate all the features during our convenient 7-day trial period. After the trial period, most of the program's features, which is viewing, transforming, and antenna datasheet generation, will continue to work, but Antenna Pattern Editor will retain the ability to export antenna patterns only to Radio Mobile V3 antenna format. In the file menu, you can view the antenna pattern as well as other information from the antenna pattern files. You can open the file or folders the regular way or simply by dragging and dropping the desired file or folder into the antenna pattern editor window. You can upload either a single file or a folder with a set of files. After selecting the file, the image of the antenna pattern in the horizontal and vertical planes will appear on the top panel. Information about the antenna pattern file format, antenna name and gain will appear on the right. The full text of the antenna pattern file will be shown in a separate block. Using the tools located to the right of the antenna pattern, you can change the display of the antenna patterns in relative units or in decibels. The scale is set to automatic, but for dB, you can also set the scale manually. Simply click on manual and then move the slider. The width of the main lobe is displayed at level 3 of decibels on both the horizontal and vertical antenna patterns. In addition, vertical tilt is displayed. The value is calculated by the information from the antenna pattern file. If the antenna pattern is not normalized, then a corresponding mark will appear above it. Using the controls above the antenna pattern, you can select its representation in both polar or you can use the Cartesian coordinate system, as well as the antenna pattern orientation, which is up or right. If the antenna pattern file contains patterns for several polarization or slices, some file formats allow for this, then an additional field for selecting options will appear. To view the corresponding antenna pattern, click on the appropriate option, polarization type or slice azimuth in this case. Antenna Pattern Editor performs 3D visualizations of antenna patterns and the conversion of 2D antenna patterns into the 3D is performed using the cross-weighted conversion algorithm. For full 3D formats, direct display is performed in the spherical coordinate system. To view the antenna pattern in 3D, click on the 3D button, which is located in the upper right corner. The 3D model of the selected antenna will open in a separate window. The 3D visualization controls are at the top. Rotation of a 3D visualization is most conveniently performed using the view cube in the upper right corner. To view the antenna data sheet, click on the antenna data sheet button. The report is generated based on the pattern of the current antenna and the header data of the description file. To save the report in Word, Excel, or PDF formats, use the appropriate tool from the top of the panel. If you want to use the current antenna pattern for further editing, then click on the Select This Antenna for Editing button, after which the editor will open up a copy of the antenna pattern and it will be transferred to it. In the Editor menu, a new antenna pattern is created or edited in a tabular form. Transformation, normalization, and other processing of the antenna pattern. Note that when an antenna pattern is placed in the editor, regardless of the previous format, the antenna pattern values are converted to a universal form in which dB values can be either positive or negative. The table can be filled in and edited manually there are also advanced options for copy-pasting table cells via the clipboard from spreadsheets, text files, and also antenna patterns from FM and TV queries from the FCC website. When manually entering and editing, 
you simply enter the angle values and the corresponding antenna pattern values in a logarithmic or a relative units. You just need to enter one of the values. The second is calculated automatically. To delete rows in the table, you need to select these rows in the left empty field and press delete on the keyboard. Any action in the editor can be undone or redone using the tools undo and redo buttons. The editor allows you to insert into the table the angles and the corresponding values of the antenna patterns from spreadsheets and text files. To copy data from a spreadsheet, copy two columns, uh, which is a column with corners and a corresponding column with values. Then click on the paste data from clipboard button. In the prompt that appears, specify the type of units to be inserted, DB or relative. Then click on the OK and the data you copied will appear in the table sorted in ascending angles. If there were already antenna pattern values with the same angles in the table before, they will be replaced with the new ones. The editor allows you to copy antenna pattern values from text files and in this case in the text file the angle values and antenna pattern values must be separated by spaces or tabs. Copy the lines you need in the text file and paste into the table. In the prompt that appears, specify the type of units to be inserted, DB or relative, then click OK, and then the data you copied will appear in the table. If there were already antenna pattern values with the same angles in the table before, they will be replaced with the new ones. You can run two instances of the software on a computer and copy paste the antenna pattern values between different windows. This method is convenient to use when you need to replace the antenna pattern in one plane, which is horizontal or vertical. You can copy antenna patterns from standard FM query and TV query results directly from the FCC website. By these requests, you can find the antenna parameters of FM and TV broadcasting stations in the FM VHF and UHF bands. If the FM or TV station has a directional antenna, this antenna pattern in the azimuthal plane can be copied and pasted into the editor. Using the transformation tools, you can perform various transformations of the antenna pattern shape. Normalization, simplification, and interpolation. Rotation to any angle, copying and mirroring in various planes as well as transformation 3D antenna pattern to 2D. Sometimes the antenna information is just a picture of the antenna pattern. In such cases, using the antenna pattern editor, you can prepare the necessary file in just a few minutes. Thanks to the simple graphical interface, as well as the applied cubic spline interpolation algorithm, you can get the desired file by pointing only a few characteristic points on the downloaded image. In this case, the following actions are performed. You upload a file with a picture of a horizontal antenna pattern, mark several characteristic points on it, mark the center of the polar coordinate system and one or more levels in dB of the antenna system. Then the same operation must be done with vertical antenna patterns. Then fill in several fields with the antenna parameters and save the antenna pattern in the desired format.
In the reference models menu, you can synthesize an antenna pattern in accordance with three reference models based on information about the main characteristics of the antennas. Main lobe width, side lobe level, frequency range, etc. In the export menu, you can save the antenna pattern file in MSI, Radio Mobile, NSMA, EDX, and VSOFT formats. In the envelope menu, you can prepare an antenna pattern envelope from a set of individual antenna patterns. This is frequently required to determine the worst case radiation situations in terms of harmful effects of radio waves. Antenna patterns in the set can be selected individually in the files menu using the add this antenna pattern to envelope button. You can also add the set of antennas from a specific folder in the envelope menu. All selected files will appear in the selected antenna patterns list. Only antenna patterns marked with a tick in the list are included in the calculation. In the batch conversion menu, a set of files is converted between different formats. To perform the conversion, select the source and the output folders, as well as the format in which you want to convert. To convert, click the Convert All Files in the Folder button. For more details about Antenna Pattern Editor, refer to the user manual on our website, wireless-planning.com.